What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a new tweak called Polis. So you can see right here what this does is actually allow you to customize your quick launch applications right in your control center. So you can set these up however you want. Right now I have the activator, the flashlight, Alien Blue, and Amazon set right here. So if we tap on those, it's going to automatically launch those applications. You can see as we swipe through here that we have a ton of these selected and some of them don't actually have a glyph as you can see right there. And you can set these with the settings. So there's actually over 300 glyphs to choose from. So if we go into the settings here, this is the settings for Polis and you can select your apps that you want to be in your control center right here. I have them all selected. You can deselect them all and just choose the ones that you want. But just for this video, I'm going to have them all selected. Now if we go back over here and we go into arrange order, you can order these by recently opened. So what this is going to do is change the order basically to exactly the same as your app switcher. So if we toggle that on, you can see that my app switcher is settings, photos, and Apple Store. So now when I bring this up, we have settings, photos, and Apple Store, which is actually a custom glyph that I set. So if we swipe this back down, you can change up your visible apps by rearranging them just by taking that little grabber right there and it's going to automatically change that up. So if we toggle this back off, you'll see that the flashlight is second and Alien Blue is now fourth. And you don't have to respring in order to do this. This is all in real time. So you can see right here, if we scroll through, you can see that Fidelity doesn't have a glyph. So if we move this all the way up, just for easy access, and we swipe up, there's no glyph right there. So what we can do is tap on Fidelity, we can tap on Select Icon, and then we can go through all of these icons and we can select whichever glyph that we want to use. So for Fidelity, we're just going to use some dice because it's a gamble whether or not I'm ever going to make money with them. But if we bring up the uh, control center here, you can see that we have the dice right there. And then if we open that up, it's going to automatically launch Fidelity. Now let's go back here and we'll go to uh, the flashlight. So you can see here that we have an option for what happens when we tap on the icon and then what happens when we tap and hold on the icon. So right now they're both sent to toggle the flash, just which is the flashlight. So if we wanted to change that, we can just tap on activator and then the set action. And let's just say we want to change it to Twikafly just for whatever reason. This is not necessarily something you use, but this is just easy for the video. So if we go back right here and then we swipe up on the control center and we tap and hold on the flashlight, you can see it automatically launches Twiktofly. So it's really simple and it gives you the ability to actually add activator actions to the app icons in your control center. So that's actually really cool. Now again, if we scroll all the way down right here, you can uh, hide these icons just by putting them down right here. And that way they're not going to be in your control center. And if we swipe down here, you have display. So this is actually going to change the amount of icons in your control center. So if we swipe it all the way up and pull this up, you can see that we now have six applications right down there. And I think it actually looks pretty good with six applications, but it's really just preference. You could put it at five, just like that. And I think that's probably the best for me. But again, it's just whatever you like. You also have pagination that you can toggle on or off. So this is just going to turn off paging. So you can see right there, instead of each page, you swipe through with one page. You also have open to first page. So if we turn that back on, if you toggle this off, then we swipe over to the second page right here, and then we bring it back up, it's on the second page. But if we toggle that back on, it's gonna automatically go back to the very first page as you can see right there. You also can change this up to circle icons if you wanna do that just by toggling that on, and it'll change those from a square to a circle. So just whatever you like, kinda of matches the uh, toggles right up here at the top. So if that's something that you like, uniformly then you can definitely toggle that on and right down here you have arrange glyph pack so if we tap on that and you've downloaded more glyph packs from Cydia then you can arrange them just by taking the little grabber and moving them up or down depending on which glyph packs you want to be a priority so definitely a cool tweak and one you can pick up in Cydia for 99 cents let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and if you want to see more of my videos and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Alright guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.